There are 7.2 billion of us. In 2011, just over 1 billion of us lived on less than $1.25 a day, compared with almost 2 billion in 1990. Since 1970, the world poverty rate has declined by 80%. We prefer to live in cities rather than the countryside. But almost 800 million of us do not have access to clean water. Rich countries are the world's top carbon emitters. Climate change hits poor countries hardest. Much has already been achieved, but a lot still remains to be done. 2015 is a very important year in terms of development because we have all the UN processes, we have the, the Sustainable Development Goals, the conference in New York in September, we have the COP21 to fight climate change in Paris. In December, we have a conference on, uh, on financing for development in Addis Ababa in July, so it's a very important, heavy year in terms of development. So the European Year of Development is using all these elements to try to raise awareness uh, in European citizens and, and beyond Europe as well of the importance of development. 2015 is the last year of the Millennium Development Goals achievements, so we have to take stock. We have to see what we have achieved and uh, what still needs to be done. And I think we have learned a lot in the course of the past uh, 15 years. We have learned that uh, um, by uh, global commitment, uh, we can uh, achieve uh, progress. Since 2009, we've been asking the world's great minds what their opinion is about development and about our future. The series of almost 60 lectures has been a fantastic opportunity to discuss and learn about human rights, climate change, aid effectiveness, Europe-Africa relations and Millennium Development Goals. The Kapuczynski Development Lectures are organised by the European Commission, the United Nations Development Programme, partner universities and development think tanks. So far, 20,000 people have taken part in the lectures. The patron of the lectures, Ryszard Kapuczynski, was a Polish writer. He studied developing countries in Africa, Asia and South America for more than 30 years. He was always focused on people and their human development. Richard Kapuscinski once said, and I will quote, the biggest contradiction in a growing world is that while experiencing a period of development and progress, the latter yields inequality. The greater the progress, the wider the inequality. End of quote. This is a matter of fact observation, but I would say we can and we must do better. In moving forward in this already challenging 21st century, I hold the position that we need to redefine what progress is. Progress is that progress where we measure how well we promote inclusion and reduce inequalities. We live in a world where what people are able to achieve is determined not by their efforts, not by their native talents, and not by their potential, but by which country they happen to be born in, by whether or not their parents happen to be rich or poor. The business as usual trajectory on which we have been operating has done some very important uh, things for human well-being, especially reducing extreme poverty. Uh, we have reached a, a period in the world where traditional patterns of economic development will no longer suffice uh, and where we need new uh, and holistic approaches to development that are far more resonant with the real challenges uh, that humanity faces. We want to live in a world that is more harmonious, that is more peaceful, that is more prosperous, that we may be able to leave to future generations a legacy of which we can be proud. Democracy means responsibilities as well as rights. This year, world leaders should act to make poverty history. 2015 is a critical year for international development. Common goals will have to be defined for governments and business, politicians and societies to make the world socially fair and sustainable. 2015 is the time for global action for people and the planet. The time for our world, for our dignity and for our future. Agreements should improve our quality of life they will decide how our world will look in 2050.
The European Year for Development mobilizes citizens and institutions for bold global decisions in this direction. Now, during a new series of the Kapuczynski Development Lectures, more than 20 top thinkers are contributing to make 2015 a breakthrough year for all the world's inhabitants and to discuss human and sustainable growth in academic centres across Europe. Follow us and engage in the debate.